beautiful humans welcome back to the miss mary lou channel it's so lovely to have you here i have my pot of tea all ready to go today we are going to be reacting to the garden bells school bus tiny home tour from a bus life story i'm so excited to give this a watch and i hope it inspires you on your next project and opens up the possibilities but first let's go ahead and take a look at our partner for this video, Ana Luisa. is an eco-conscious jewelry brand. When they reached out to me, I was so excited to work with them. Right now, you can get 20% off store-wide during their March Madness sale, now through the 25th. They craft high quality jewelry pieces at very affordable prices, and they are a carbon neutral company from their packaging to their products, which makes me feel really good because they care about the impact on the planet, just like I do. That's part of the reason why I live tiny in my bus. The pieces they gifted to me here make me feel really connected to what's important to me, like the moon, my cats, and of course, roses, which are my favorite flower. I put them in my tea all the time, and I just, I really love them, and they mean a lot to me. Their designs are unique and will make you feel empowered, elegant, and at your finest. And I am extra glowy knowing that I am supporting a brand that cares about the earth as much as I do. So hop onto their March Madness sale now through March 25th. I'll have my own code for you to use down in the description box below. I'll put it right at the top so you don't have any trouble finding it. And whether you're buying it for yourself, a partner, a friend, loved one, I'm sure you will find something that they absolutely adore at affordable prices from a carbon neutral company. It's honestly just a dream. I hope you're ready to get inspired. This is Bus Lifer Reacts. Oh, what a sweetie. I'm liking what I'm seeing already. Oh, is that a live edge counter? Okay, well, we'll get to that. Hi, I'm Lauren. And I'm Joe. We're the Garden Bells. This is our bus. It's an 01. An uh, 01, has, wow, that's an older bus. It has a DT466E. Uh, engine. We used Rust-Oleum paint on the outside of our bus. Oh, Rust-Oleum. Rust-Oleum is a super accessible paint that you can use to paint the outside of vehicles. It is really good because I think it's like an enamel paint. It will also protect your bus. And these rainbows they have going on are very much their signature thing, so I love it. We really just have this awning up here that we use for a backdrop for photo shoots. And Wait, they double their awning as a backdrop? That's amazing. We have 800 watts of solar going into uh, two, two 200 amp hour batteries. 800 watts of solar is actually a middle sort of amount for what I've seen. My rig, I think, only has 350. So this is actually a really lovely middle size amount. Also, do I have a roof deck on my bus? No, because I have vertigo. And then we have this keypad, which locks the door, and so that- I really think it's cool when the bus doors are replaced. Let's go check out the inside. <laughs> oh, and it's plexiglass on the backs of the windows, which is really, really smart, especially if it's like an exterior door. So if anything hits it while you're driving, you don't have to worry about glass shattering. So that is a really smart hack. Good job. Here's our uh, filing cabinet where we have anything from tools to shoes. Uh, you'll notice a lot. This is the cutest filing cabinet I've seen in my life. Uh, over here I have a school locker that- I love this! A school locker, so many stickers. Also, I'm pretty sure a common theme in this bus build is 
found furniture. Instead of making everything custom built, which takes a lot of time, a lot of knowledge, and a lot more resources, especially with wood prices these days, putting like thrifted secondhand furniture pieces or furniture pieces you already have in your house, and then putting those pieces, securing them into your build. I think it's so smart. I wish I knew about this sort of approach to it before I started my bus build. I, ugh, I love it. It's so smart. So right now we have this futon. Amazing. Right it's just an actual futon. We've got some, you know, just random accessories, some books. And those look like the, even the cabinet doors themselves are thrifted. Yeah, just a chest of drawers. Amazing storage. I love Live Edge. I'm such a sucker for it. That is a huge pantry. Holy moly. Again, it looks like a thrifted cabinet door because they're really hard to make. <laughs> so cute. Got some string lights for, for the vibe at night. This is another really awesome idea. The fact that they just have 12 volt bistro lights. If electrical is not really a thing that you're comfortable with or you just really like this sort of look, this is a, an amazing inexpensive way to get your bus, your build lit up without actually running any wires through the walls. So smart. Again, I wish I'd known about this before I started my build. It's just, it's so good. The vibe is just so good. And here we have our bathroom. They have curtains on their bathroom. Wow. I love curtains on the bathroom. It's easier than installing a door. Water head for our shower that reduces how much water comes out at a time. I think it goes so down smart. to half a gallon per minute. A half a gallon? A half a gallon? That's nothing per minute. And for our toilet, I mean, it's probably a, a $20 system where it's- Amazing. DIY composting toilet, super inexpensive to make, and they work so great. That's it. So right here we just have like a dog bed, but really it can be a human lounge. Amazing. We love people who are considerate of their pets in their builds. Oh, and the door is right there. And that macrame, so good. How have you guys been doing bus life now? Yeah, we've been doing bus life for about three years. We started off- Three on, years, on wow. Year. We started off by thrifting clothing and listing it for sale and that really... Yay, really circular economy. economy. We love it. It's an ethical clothing shop now where we hold inventory up on our roof in those small Yeah, shops. they're small business owners, so please go support them. I will link them in the description box below. My number one piece of advice for someone who's considering getting into this or just starting or you just got your bus is you don't worry about it being complete before yeah. you start living in it or... Yes, this is such an excellent piece of advice. If you wait for something to be done or perfect, chances are you're gonna get super delayed or maybe never get out on the road. I like to try to live by the motto, done is better than perfect. This is an awesome, awesome example of that. I know it can be really easy to get caught up in all of the tours that you see online. Some of them are super high tech and everything is super custom made, but you don't need to have all those things. The most important thing is whatever works for you, the way you want to live and your budget. It's incredibly cost effective and incredibly time effective to do a sort of thrifted found furniture piece build like they did. Okay, my friends, thank you so very much for joining me today for a bus lifer reacts video. I know I'm super, super inspired. I'm gonna leave links for the garden bells and a bus life story in the description box below so you can go follow and support. And as a reminder, the March Madness Ana Luisa sale is going on now through March 25th. Use my link in the description box below. I'll put it right at the top for you and let me know if you get something. What inspired you about this video? How are you going to like incorporate this good juicy bit of knowledge into your upcoming project. Let me know. I'm definitely going to be thrifting more things and securing them to the inside of my bus because it is such a good idea. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, here on YouTube, and live tea parties over on Twitch. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.